Today's two minute drill is all about best practices for syncing your audio to your drill for your file and why I do it the way I do it. Let's jump right in. In my experience, there's really only two ways to do this uh, successfully. And um, there's a couple different ways that you can sync your music. Uh, once is pressing the space bar every count of the music. The other is pressing it uh, per set. And these two are really, I think, the the really good options. I, I, I haven't really looked into doing it the other two ways. Most music files I get either have tempo changes um, and other things in them. So uh, usually these two are the ones that work the best for me. And I even uh, am, am the kind of person who presses the space bar once per count. Uh, because I just like to feel the tempo of the music. I like to know what the kids' feet are doing. Sometimes I even mark time along with my uh, my clicking, and it helps me to become familiar with what the music is doing, especially if you have a piece of music that your students and performers are going to try to perform that has some sort of mixed meter to it or has a three feel and then a four feel um, like that. So I like the ones per count. But I'll also show you the ones per set because it works pretty good too. So uh, you have to get yourself ready at the space bar and then uh, hit start sync. And in, in the first way of doing it is by literally clicking every single beat. So you tap the space bar. Fairly simple. And you'll see at the bottom here, you can see the timestamps for every single page tab, 18 seconds in. Now this has a little tempo change, so I like to know that exactly where that's gonna happen. And they're off for the tempo change. So on and so forth. Now the other way of doing it, of course, is uh, or one of the other, I think, easier ways to do it is pressing the space bar once per set. And that's fine, but the thing about this is you're gonna wanna have, uh, especially if you have a lot of variation in your page tabs, uh, maybe a count sheet just kind of written down in front of you and count through each page as you go. Um, because some of these are 24 sets, some of them are 12, some of them are eight, some of them are 16. And if you mess up, then you gotta go all the way back and redo it at the beginning. So I'm gonna clear this sync and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is clicking once per set. So you gotta be ready to click right away on the first set. And then from there, you literally just count in your head your page tabs. So now I'm thinking third, four, fifth, six. So counting out the page tabs is really good. 13, 14, 15, 16. Guy, are you ready for the tempo change? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So those are the two, I think, easier, easiest, uh, most successful ways to do it. Of course, you can play around with the others. Um, you know, I like tapping every single count um, because uh, the other way you kind of really have to have that count sheet in front of you or be really confident with uh, the pages. And if you get into a drill that has, um, you know, 14 or 10 count moves, you know, you may click two counts early or, or click two counts late, that sort of thing, and have to redo it. Whereas the tapping method, you literally just tap along with the beat and uh, and you go to the end and then you can see as you're going if you made an error and then when you go back all you got to do is just create uh, fix the error in the page tabs as opposed to resync the whole thing again so i hope this was helpful to you uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these pyware videos